Hello, welcome here. I'm Florin and uh, today I'm sitting in uh, Mazda uh, uh, Model 2 uh, 2017, uh, European uh, version. Uh, but don't worry, this video is not about uh, this car today. It's about the car that sits uh, next to me, uh, which is a, a Tesla Model 3 uh, uh, 2021. Um, why I'm sitting here is because today I would like to actually test um, how long it will take for the car to go into what is it called uh, deep sleep uh, mode. Uh, what is that actually? Um, yeah, I, I recorded in in, in uh, some of my videos on the, on a channel that um, when the car is running sentry mode, it's actually um, um, recording or or analyzing images around the car, and actually the computers of the car are kept awake and apparently they even generate quite some heat um, and consumes quite a lot. So um, what, I, what will be interesting today to see is uh, uh, what happens when uh, uh, I deactivate uh, sentry mode and for how long the car will actually keep the computers running. Um, so for that I have here a uh, Skarmai Tesla. Uh, I also created like a custom screen here where I added the, the package per packets per uh, per second, um, which is wirelessly connected to the OBD port uh, inside the car, and then I'm receiving uh, I'm receiving data over here. Um, I also have here. Uh, let me turn it on. I have here uh, um, let's say Tesla app. And uh, just to kind of let's say reset uh, all these tests, so I will unlock the car. Then um, let me lock the car. And then um, one interesting aspect, you can see the car is consuming right now between uh, 22, uh, sorry, 0.22 and 0.26 kilowatt hour with sentry mode uh, active. But um, if I deactivate uh, sentry mode, you'll actually see that the, the, the power consumption will drop to about, uh, 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 let's say, 0.15. Uh, a kilowatt. Um, that will suggest that, let's say, uh, analyzing the images around the car um, will consume uh, the difference between 0 0.15 and uh, 0 0.22. Uh, so, an interesting, uh, an interesting aspect uh, to to check. Uh, we can see now it's uh, yeah, it's a six thirty three. Uh, um, what I will do, I will also close the uh, Tesla app just to make sure that uh, I will not um, I will not keep the car awake uh, by mistake. And um, I expect this will take about uh, uh, 30 minutes. Um, but what I will do, I will I will put the the, the recording of the scan my Tesla on the side uh, of the screen, uh, and then I will uh, fast forward it. Uh, you can see the progress here, uh, and then at some point, what I will I will uh, definitely notice is that the the scan my Tesla will no longer communicate with the uh, with the car, which would be a sign that the car went in a in in a deep sleep because the OBD port will no longer be uh, uh, powered by the by the car. So stay tuned, be patient, and let's um, uh, let's talk later. Yeah, only about 15 minutes after this, um, you see it's um, it's actually not even 15 minutes, it's about 10 minutes. I could hear, I could hear a, a clock in the car, which would suggest that the car disconnects the, the main battery. Uh, um, and um, you can also see here, it says no data for uh, 30 seconds. So that's actually interesting. So it's 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 about ten minutes um, that the car is uh, is kept awake, um, and then it's it's completely uh, uh, or it goes completely into into a deep sleep mode. Interesting. Um, let me put up a Tesla app now. Um, yeah, honestly, I was not 
prepare for this so quick. I thought it would take about 30 minutes. So I have here a, a Tesla app. It's waking up now. And uh, let's do like this. Yeah, I could hear uh, uh, again that clock in the car. Um, so again, the, the, the main battery is connected and now you can see scan my Tesla starts to communicate and then also the car, uh, the car is awake. Um, so yeah, we can conclude that it takes about 10 minutes. I'm not sure it's always the same, but at least right now it took, uh, it took 10 minutes. Um, it consumes about uh, um, what is it, 70 watts hour uh, to actually analyze the images around the car. And um, what will be also interesting to see is I have now uh, activated again sentry mode. You can see the consumption here goes between, I think it's also because it's, it's communicating with the car. So that's because usually you'll see about 0.22 to 0.26. Now I see 0.26 to 0.30, so I, I believe it's because of the internet, uh, maybe connectivity, which could take a bit there, some some bots. But what I, what I wanted to see is, uh, so let's see when scan my Tesla stabilized to 0 0.22 uh, kilowatts. Um, yeah, what I want to see is that if I if I trigger an event, a sentry event. Let me see if I open the door. Yeah. No, I can't. I can't trigger it uh, like that, and I'm I'm way too close from uh, from the car. Yeah. Let me. Yeah, it will open the car because I have the mobile uh, next to me. Um, I wanted to see how long it actually takes. Uh, sorry, how much it consumes. Um, just just the screen. Uh, but I did a test a bit earlier, and it looks like it takes between uh, um, 20 and 40 uh, uh, watt hour just the screen. So when when the sentry mode is uh, is actually uh, triggered, and then when you get this uh, pop up on the screen, that uh, yeah, there is a there is a, the car is recording. So interesting findings. 10 minutes. It takes to, uh, uh, or at least in this test, it took 10 minutes to, to turn off uh, or to, to go to deep uh, sleep mode. It's about 70 watt uh, consumption to, to record uh, uh, or to keep the cameras active around the car. Um, and then between 20, 40 uh, um, watt hour would be for, the, for just the screen to, to, to turn on. I hope you 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 enjoy this. You find this uh, information useful. Uh, please uh, um, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, that will motivate me uh, to generate more interesting content that you can uh, you can uh, enjoy. Um, take care and uh, see you next time.